Welcome to Factly, the place of interesting and unusual facts. Welcome to our top 10 interesting facts about foxes. Although there are more than 30 species of fox living in a staggering array of habitats around the world, the red fox is the one that is most frequently mentioned in myth and mythology. The typical red fox is the largest member of the small dog family known as Canidae. The majority of the species, though, are much smaller than the red fox. Foxes are found throughout the Northern Hemisphere, including Central America. Humans have even introduced them to Australia, where it has become a serious issue due to its excess breeding. Particularly, the fox is very adept at blending in with its surroundings. They have lived and prospered in close proximity to people, and a few subspecies of the fox can dwell in densely populated metropolitan areas by taking advantage of those innate nocturnal habits. While many other fox species are threatened or endangered because they can't withstand human encroachment, the red fox has robust numbers all across the world. Learn about these foxes and much more in today's video. Let's jump into number one. The fox's family is all over the place. The dynamics of a fox family can be rather diverse, with some members of the species having quite strong pairs to one another, while others are more independent and live in extremely amorphous family units. In most cases, the fox will reside in a small family unit that consists of a dominant partner along with two to five other individuals, the majority of whom are mature offspring. In the same way as only the alpha female of a wolf pack will have offspring, only the dominant female of a family of foxes will have kids, and the rest of the members of the family will typically help raise the young. After the death of the mother, it has been observed that male foxes will sometimes continue to care for their young on their own. When it's time to have their young, many species of fox will dig out simple, roomy dens in the ground. The parents will stay nearby for up to three months as the young develop their physical and mental capabilities. The kits are under the care of the entire household for an extended period of time. Number two, family habits change after three months. Foxes spend the majority of the year living in the open, bedded down by revolving in a tight circle to tamp down a little bed for themselves, similar to how we watch domestic dogs do it in the living room rug. During the winter, foxes move into dens or burrows to hibernate, and it is common for young animals to leave their partners between the ages of 10 and 18 months to start their own families. However, young animals can also choose to remain with their parents for the rest of their lives. When young adults remain in the population, they frequently continue to submit themselves to the authority of their parents, and they assist in the rearing of the subsequent generations of kits without having offspring of their own. Food will be regurgitated for the young kits by the mother, the father, and older siblings, who also bring food back to the den. It has been believed for a long time that foxes live alone, and this is true for some of them. However, this may be due to the fact that they disperse and hunt alone. So many of the times when humans see them, they are simply by themselves. Number 3. Foxes make over 20 calls and sounds. Despite being canines, fox species do not bark the same way that domestic dogs do. Some foxes produce a very short, high-pitched, and mostly solitary warning bark that is distinct from that bow-wow-wow sound. They do, however, reportedly make up to 20 different calls, which is an astonishing range. Fox vocalizations include frightful nocturnal screams, howls resembling those of coyotes, whimpers, snuffling, and a joyful call that mimics a baby sobbing. But the gecker, or that chuckling noise that most foxes produce, is by far the most distinctive. When they are fighting or playing, foxes will gecker. Additionally, when most foxes are naturally anxious animals, they frequently emit that sound known as the gecker when they're excited or scared. Hours will pass while a litter of kits fight among themselves and they roll around geckering. Additionally, a vexen guarding her den will also gecker an intruder out of the domain. Number 4. Foxes have impeccable hearing. It has been said for years that foxes can hear the ticking of a watch from a distance of 40 yards. Their superior hearing enables them to locate their prey even when they are underground. The fact that foxes are able to locate their prey using the magnetic feel of the earth is definitely an interesting fact. This, along with the heightened sensitivity of their hearing, makes them formidable adversaries in the hunt. Number 5. Foxes use their tails for thermoregulation. 
Thanks to recent studies, foxtails are recognized for more than just their distinctive markings. These appendages are covered in dense fur and take up nearly one-third of their total body length. This is a length that is considered to be a relatively long for mammals. When they come across potential predators, this helps the animal appear larger than it actually is. Although it is a sad fact about foxes that their tails have been used for fur wraps in the past, this practice is becoming less common now that there are laws in place to restrict it for most of the year. They do this for the same purpose as owls do, which is to basically keep themselves warm. Foxes simply wrap those tails all over themselves, and this is especially important in the cold as this allows them to retain their body heat. Number 6. Foxes are very fast runners. In general, they are quick animals that can achieve speeds of 50 kilometers per hour. The type of fox species known as the quick fox, which is capable of exceeding this rate of speed, is generally believed to be the fastest type of fox species. One more of the fascinating characteristics of foxes is that they are said to have excellent jumping skills. It is possible for some species of foxes, such as the red fox, to leap over obstacles that are higher than 2 meters. However, this ability does vary from species to species. That brings me to number 7. All the fox species have the same conservation status. The International Union for the Conservation of Nature has determined that there are 12 distinct species of fox, all of which fall into the category of being of least concern. There are a few countries on their own where this may be slightly different, but none of them are regarded to be an intimate risk of going extinct. Now that does not mean that foxes do not face any dangers in the wild. In addition to the effects of habitat change and direct hunting, the fur industry was one of their greatest threats for a significant portion of their history. The pelts of thousands of these animals were harvested, where the arctic fox and the red fox were being the most widely used species hunted. It is thought that foxes, followed by American minks, are the animals that were exploited the most in this despicable industry. Number 8. Foxes only live a short time in the wild. Even if it might be fascinating information about foxes, it is unfortunate to hear that, in comparison to other animals, foxes really don't live that long in the wild. They have a short lifespan of just 2 to 4 years, although they can live for 10 to 12 years in captivity. One interesting fox fact is that the animal that has been kept in captivity for the longest was over 21 years. Number 9. Foxes can live in various habitats. Although they are found in Africa, foxes are primarily found in the Northern Hemisphere, particularly in America, Europe, and Asia. They grow within this range in a variety of habitat types depending on the species. These consist of deserts or semi-deserts, tundra, savannas, forests, coastal regions, agricultural areas, lowlands, and even mountains. Number 10. Did you know foxes are not strict carnivores? Despite being members of the order of carnivora, they do not strictly eat meat. Even though animal protein is normally favored, some ecosystems require more opportunistic feeding styles. Those species take advantage of a variety of vertebrae and invertebrate species, as well as eggs, carrion, fruit, berries and seeds, leaves and roots, and even bugs. Well, you've reached the end of another awesome video by Factly. If you like this, hit the subscribe button and you'll see us in the next video.